boys and girls and welcome along to Cairn Hill Cabin in County Cavan in Ireland and my name is Margaret McKenna. Um, today we're having our, a class on a Sunday instead of a um, Saturday but we'll get back to our normal routine hopefully this week. Um, as usual I'm going to ask if you have any suggestions please please let me know and I'll put them in my little jar for a change this time. It's a jar. Um, so uh, I'll put them in. If I see them before the end of the lesson I'll put them in and if not I'll see them at the end of the, the lesson when I look at the comments. Um, so today we were asked to do an underwater scene and of course needless to say there's so much you can do in an underwater scene. I mean there's so many ideas you could have but I thought well let's see what do we have. We could put in a shark would be a good one because I think you know we all think of these underwater creatures like sharks and big you know whales but I think a shark is a good one. And the seahorse of course now the seahorse it looks very big compared to the shark but obviously the shark is way in the distance remember so we don't see it. so this this fellow here is much closer up. And then we have our octopus down here, little friendly fella down at the front. And of course, we have to have our shipwreck, of course. It's always a, have a shipwreck in, a, in an underwater scene. And then we have our, our stingray, little flat fish. And of course, our anchor at the long, And our little smiley, friendly fish. And of course, our coral at the edge of the, of the water to make it look nice and, and, and uh, colourful. So, OK, so what I'm going to say is, first of all, remember what I said about the pencil before? Hold it nice and light. Don't hold it tight like as if you're painting a drawing or right. And uh, so... Hello, Terry. And uh, so then just nice and light so you can rub them out afterwards because some of the lines we won't need later on. And um, so I'll rub them out. Now I'm going to write, draw as usual, really dark so that you can see, but you draw a light. You just remember that. OK, so. OK, so we'll start, first of all, with the line at the bottom near well, near the line, this line here. OK, so we're going to come along, just draw a line. So sort of some, I'm doing this a lightly bumpy kind of line. This can be a little bit um heavier than know just make sure you can see the bottom of that there is at the bottom anyway that's okay now okay and then i think we'll do next is we'll do a ship now our ship will come over here come fairly far over and we'll draw a line not quite straight up kind of just a little bit going up that way and then we go up straighter i see that so we change direction a little bit and then we just come like that that's all. That's all there is to the ship. And we're going to put a porthole in the ship. We'll do the other lines on the ship later on when we paint it. So we're going to put a, long, a roundy shape here, another roundy shape. Out of that. So that's a little porthole in the side of the ship. OK. And now don't worry about these here. We'll put them later in as well. Now, our anchor. So how do we draw an anchor? Anchor is quite easy. Actually, it looks very complicated, but it's not. What we do, first of all, we do kind of like a, a big wide U shape. So if you look at this over, come over here and it's kind of sideways, it's like a C actually. Letter C on its side, like that. Right, you can do this heavy, actually. This line you can do a little heavy. And then we're going to do another inside one like that. So it's really like, a yeah, it is like a letter C, just falling over a little bit. So it is. And then we're going to put two triangles on the top. We put a triangle here, and we put a triangle like that. So. And then we're going to draw a bar that comes up the middle of it, just like that. It's like a big, long rectangle. And we can just put a little roundy bit at the bottom top and another little roundy bit in the middle. So actually, I didn't put a little extra little roundy bit in that one. So we put another little roundy bit in the middle. See there? OK, now what do we do next? We'll do our octopus, I think. So our octopus will be just like a big egg shape. So you can just imagine an egg shape. So here we go. Egg shape. And sort of lying on its side a little bit, sort of tilted over. Okay. And we're going to put two friend big eyes in them. And we can look, we can have them looking at whatever way we want. We put an eye and a little bit in the corner like that. Look. So he's looking off into one direction. He's looking off, off over. The, he's not looking at the shark anyway. So he'd probably scuttle away quick enough anyway. And now we're going to have his legs. Now his legs are just like windy, wormy things. We can we can rub out these little lines afterwards in between. So we'll have one here and maybe one like that. And then we just get another one like that. So they're literally like worms, big fat worms. So we get this the edge so you can see it a bit better. And we could do another one here. And we can put one, we can put one just out to the side there. You could have other ones that we can't see behind them. You see, you don't have to put them all in. You just know that they're, they're there. And I'm going to rub out this line here. There's any of the lines in the background that are coming through. You can just rub them out now. Only little bits of ones. As I say, it'd be easier for you because you might you wouldn't have drawn as dark as me. So 
my lines are going to be very dark. Now, the big thing, the, the shark. Now that look, this looks really hard to draw, but actually it's not, it's really easy. Now again, remember, keep your lines a little light at first because we will go out a little bit. Okay, so watch this. Here's where we start with. So we're gonna come over here. Just make sure you know where you are in the space so you don't end up, well, it doesn't matter if you go on top of your uh, um, your your ship. Just If you do, just rub out the bit of ship that uh, goes in front of him because it doesn't really matter. Okay, so here we go. This is the first shape we're gonna make and it's gonna be like this. Now, can you make that shape? See the way it comes out like that, and it goes, it's like a, I don't know what kind of, it's kind of like a tri, a funny shaped triangle, and it's got a little sort of roundier bit at the bottom. Okay, so it's not like a like a pointy triangle. And see, see the way it's a little bit sideways? That's important, that it's not even. It's not, see the way the long line here, and a shorter line there. So it's long, short, and kind of long there. And then we're going to put his mouth in. So here's what his mouth Come up a little bit here, and we just go like this. Just like that. There's his mouth. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring. See this line here. I did. I'm just going to bring this back a little bit. In there like that. So you see there. I'm just bringing it. I'll show you this up close. But this is the the bit where. So we're going to bring that line there. Remember we did the long. We're just going to go back in a little bit, and we can rub this outside line out. And this is where you do it lighter than me. You see. And now you see we've got a dip in on his mouth. Do you see that? So it's one big shape. Then this shape, and then we can just you just go back in on this shape a little bit, so you can rub out the outside line a little bit. Just gives makes it look like he's it's got an inside to his mouth. Okay, now we put on his fin on top, and we put another fin kind of coming out like that, and we put another one that's on the far side of his body, but you only see a little bit of that one because it's on the other side, and we can rub out that line there. And the last bit is 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 his back is the end of him at the end of him and his and his um his tail. So we've got a little straight line here like that. Okay, and then we kind of put a triangular shape like that. See? And what we do then is just rub out that line. And of course, we put in his eye. Like that. And of course, his teeth was the most important part. So you put lots of teeth in like that. And that is our shark. So it's not too hard to draw the shark at all. So remember, you can look back at this video after, and I'll put it up on YouTube later on as well, if anyone hasn't got Facebook. Now, we're going to do our stingray. Our stingray is kind of like a diamond shape, actually. If you draw a diamond, and then you can round them off a little bit. So you could draw them. I'm going to do it dark. Remember, you do it lighter. So I'll draw it dark first. So we're going to put them sort of like a diamond shape like that. See? And then you do, all you do is sort of round them off a little bit. Just round them off a little. And we can put the, the line a little bit like that in his first tail. And the big long bit coming out the back like that. And we put in his eyes later on. Don't worry about his eyes. We we'll put them in later on. And of course, oh, it's stuck there. Is the fish? And the fish is literally just like that. He's easy little fella to draw. His little eye in here and his little smiley face on him. I hope he gets away from that shark. And then we have a triangular tail. And we have a little, oops, where's my paint's gone on the floor? And there's a little triangle for spin, another triangle there. Now, all that remains to do now is the coral. Now, what I did for the coral was really, I put blobs of color on and I went around them afterwards. So I think that's the way we'll do it. We'll put lots of blobs of color and then we'll just go around them with the dark pencil later on. But we can do a dark pencil or a black marker when it dries. So we just do what you do is we'll mark out an area first. We'll do a kind of a big sort of blobby area like that. And you can rub out this line in here. That's the background going through this ground line. Okay. Now we're ready to paint. Oh no, sorry, we've got a seahorse. I've got a seahorse. Okay. So the seahorse is actually quite nice to draw. We've got a little roundy head them like that. Okay. We've got a long bit that comes out like that. And then we have to go back to our banana shapes that we'd use for the dragon, because he's got that kind of shape when we did the dragon drawing. We're going to put a banana body like this. See? 
And then we just put a curly tail and this tail goes like that. And he's got a little kind of ear thing. He's got kind of spiky things too, but we put them in later on in his eye, of course, his little eye. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to colour. So what I did when I did the colours, I'm just going to be painting. It fell on the floor here. Okay, now, my palette. Now, remember, if you have any more suggestions, please let me know, because I, as I say, I'll read them later on. And what we're going to do for the, for the, um, it? there we go. Give these brushes a good wash, so I do later on. I want to give them a good cleaning. Ah, here we go, better one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my dark blue, and we're going to make the blue, the, the, I'm just going to put it up like this for now. Watch this. Now I'm just going to make it dark, quite dark. Because remember, as you go down in the sea, the water gets dark because there's less light on coming down. So this is going to take a few minutes just to do. I normally, sometimes if I've only one thing in a picture, as you know, I will just cut them out and glue them on. But really, this would take too much time to be cutting these shapes out. And they're quite hard to cut out too. Some of them are. There, there's a lot more in them than, the, than just um, the shark would be easy, but... Actually, I did the shark cut him out on the top one. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go up to about here with the dark blue. And you go in between this little. Tail here. This might take a bit of time. So as I say, don't worry if you don't catch up on it now. You can come back and look at it later on. So we're going to have the water coming up like that. And it's darker here all along the bottom, OK? And now we're going to start bringing a little bit of white into it. So I'm going to mix a little bit of white into my blue, just to get a little bit lighter, OK, like that. And I'm going to put the next layer is going to be a bit more white, actually. Just chest it and see. It's only a little bit lighter. I can see it. You might be able to see it here from where you are, but it is actually a little bit lighter. I'm going to go up as far as his tail now with that. Roughly up to about there. This is probably the most time, the, ta the, ta the longest time to do this bit here. Now, we're going to add more white into it. So it's getting lighter as we go up all along. This might take a bit of time because they say you've got to go up to the top of where the ship is this time. So we've got the dark blue up to here, then we've got the lighter, a little bit of lighter blue, and then a much lighter one, which is coming up as maybe the top of the ship, and it comes across at the top over his body a little bit. And now we're going to add in loads of white, like loads of white. So it's going to be a much lighter blue. Much, much lighter blue. And I'm going to bring that right across here. And you can let it drift, let it go down into the other colour as well, a little bit. And what happens is because the sun comes through the water, remember, it's not very deep, this water, really. But it just be darker down in the darker. Maybe that's going looking way down into the depth of the water because it gets very dark down in the ocean. As I'm sure a lot of you, you know that anyway, I'm sure a lot of you do. It can be so dark that the fish have lights on their heads to see, like torches built-in torches which is very handy and they wouldn't know where they're going otherwise yeah there we go so there we have that that's basically the sea okay let's get a bit of the mirror mist here now i'm going to put a night i'm going to wash my brush really well now because i want to have it clean for the next bit so the next bit i'm going to do is the, the ray of light coming down here actually i might you know what no i won't do it yet i might just let that dry a bit i'm going to first of all i'm going to do the um the ship so what i'm going to just get it we'll wash a brush well anyway so i'm going to make a bit of white and a bit of brown so i'm going to use my white and my brown together just make it not quite as totally dark and we're going to do our ship color here like this and you can bring the lines going crossways because even at this stage i'm going down and then bring it across like that look because i'll tell you why because it'll make it already look like there's the planks of wood in it even if before you put the lines in if you go down and then you have to draw lines across it doesn't look as good so keep your lines going that way across okay
and we can bring it in here and we bring it in between, just underneath his leg there like that and underneath this leg anyway you see gaps between the legs because yours might be slightly different than mine so anyway you see the gaps where the where the wood the the um the ship would be behind the the the, the octopus there so there we get that and then we're going to put his body color so i put a kind of a greeny actually i put a bit of greeny brown so what i did was i kind of mixed a bit of green into that brown, the ship color that i had where i had the brown and the white together and uh, the brown and the white together and i put lots of green into that so it kind of got a slightly browny green like that because octopuses or octopi or whatever octopuses they like to um kind of disguise themselves so they actually try to go in with the background color so sometimes you can't really see octopuses on the on the on the floor of the ocean because they try to, to melt in with the color they're a bit like chameleons they can melt in with their color change but we don't want them to do it too much because otherwise we won't see them in the picture well you can make a bit of fun out of that you can actually make them all the one color as the background and then draw them and i mean see if you can spot the, spot the octopus so it, whichever way you want to go now i put them a slightly greenier brown so we just see them okay now we can add a little bit of light green onto it in class too to give them a little bit of a little lighter bit there on the top of his head so he shows up a bit better now okay now what we're going to do is we're going to do the, while i have the brownie colors out i'm going to put the floor of the of the um of the ocean on so i'm going to add a bit of yellow into my brown you know our brownie white color we had a minute brownie white we're brownie white and a bit of yellow so it's brown and white and a bit of yellow together just mix them up like that and we just go let's make it a bit lighter than that it's a bit too dark so yeah, that's better. Put more white even. And bring it across in like that. Lots of bits to colour around in this picture. Because we're not, as I say, cutting them out like I do sometimes. Okay. And we're going to come down across over here like that. All the way down to the bottom and over here like that okay brilliant and we're going to get some of the really darker brown and i'm just going to put a bit of dark shadow oops in behind, underneath his legs like that see see to the right of his legs like that so this gives him a little shadow like where he's sitting on the ocean floor now, what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to make a lot, do lots of different colors. So we can really do whatever way we want to do this color. So I'm going to do, let's see, we put some white in, we put out the red. I knew I missed a color there somewhere. I put out some red. So just get a bit, a little bit of red out. I'm using poster paints, by the way, as I usually do, but you can use any kind of paints. You could use crayon, pencil crayons, crayons, whatever. Um, poster paints are handy. So I've got a few, a few little, maybe red patches, maybe just a few little. So like this, we can share them. I'm not going to even do them the same as that. I'm just going to randomly do it. So, you know, do just random little blobs of it. Um, and we're going to put maybe, let me see, a few yellow ones. We can put them up beside each other. So we just basically fill in this area with different colors. Another one here, maybe. And then I'm going to put in, let me see, we'll do a greens, some greens. Another one here, maybe. Oops, got a bit of the red on it. You take your time. I mean, you know, if you want to take it so that you don't have to, so they're not all wet, you can come back and do another bit of the picture. And I'm going to do a nice bit of the blue. So I'm going to get some of my light blue, my blue and white together. Or if you have a light blue color, it would be nice. I'll do some in here. Maybe one up here. One in here. And I also had a kind of mauvey color. So I mixed a kind of mauvey light purple. I mixed my red into my blue and my white together. So red, blue, and white together. You get a kind of a purpley color. I think I'll put a pink one up there as well. But that's the same. Now, so we have all the different shades going through. Now we're going to do our little, um, little fish. So our fish, I had them as white, yellow. So I just got a yellow color on them, first of all. 
but you can put whatever color you want on them. I mean, you know, you don't have to follow the colors exactly that I'm putting on. So I'm just going to leave them there to dry for a minute because I'm going to do my stingray now. Or actually, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my 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 um yeah, seahorse as well. So I'm going to put him a kind of yellowy as well. I might actually add a little bit of red into him. So we'll make him more of an orange color, actually. A little more orangey. So put red and yellow together. Or if you have an orange color, it'd be better. Like that. I'll go around his little tail and we go around his little head. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to go and we're going to do the stingray. Now the stingray is a kind of a grey kind of a colour. So I'm going to mix my blue. How do we get a blue? You say black and white. I'm not going to use black at all here. I'm going to use what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix blue and brown and white. And that makes a really good grey colour if you try it. Blue, brown and white. So you're going to mix and you can make it a bluey grey or browny grey. That's the great thing about blue, brown and white together for a grey colour. You can mix, it can make the kind of grey you really want to make. Great for doing clouds. And there he goes. Look. I'm gonna put a bit more white. I mean, he's a bit dark. You can mix the white directly on the paint on the page too. That's better. I'm gonna make his tail then as well. And I'm gonna put a little shine of white going down the middle of him. Look. Got a little bit of white bit going down there. Look like that. And that's just like a shine kind of on him. He's got a kind of a shiny kind of a back on them and you know what for the shark i'm going to do exactly the same as i did here i'm going to use the blue the brown and the white and it's just a slightly maybe bluer kind of a, or a slightly bluier kind of gray so if you mix up a blue a brown and a white together and you can make up the kind of blue this kind of color that you want to get for the shark so it's a kind of blue brown and gray or blue brown and white i mean and that makes a gray okay so here we go so i'm going to just do the top half of them like more white into him, I think. He's a bit too dark, isn't he? Around his eye. I'm just doing the top half. He's got, and then right down to his tail. And his fit and his fins. If you come down to his fins like that. And there's another fin up here. And his fin underneath here. Okay, great. And next we're going to get his, his, his mouth. Now for his mouth, what I did is that you mixed a red and a brown together. So I'd make it too red. So I mixed the red and brown together. So it's a kind of reddishy brown color for his mouth. So red and a brown. And we just go in like that. And we, now this is the hard part. You're probably going to get a small brush because it's kind of hard going in between all his teeth. Now, there we go. And the last bit, but we have to paint, oh, but yeah, a main part to paint actually the full thing is the anchor. So remember the red and brown we just had right now? So we have the red and brown, and we can add a yellow to that. And if we add a yellow to the red and brown, we get a kind of a rusty kind of a color. Because remember, this is going to be all rusted. So it's kind of like a rusted shade. I can color in at all in that way, like that. And you can put the brown then in little patch. See red and see that's the red. And see the if there's any bits of the, I'm just gonna put brownie patches on it then like that. Look, so it's the red and the yellow and the brown mixed together, and you get a kind of a brown. I get a kind of a rusty color. And then you just put little bits of the brown in, just like that. Look, just little bits, and it makes it look like it's kind of all old and it's all bits stuck to it, and it's just kind of very old anchor. It's been there a long time. I'm gonna get my brown again. And I'm going to come up here and make my rail. So come up here and you're going to make a line along like that in the brown. And you just bring it down like that. Just put a bit more on it. Remember when you're holding your brush, hold your brush back. Don't hold it too, um, don't hold it too, too far down. It's like the way you hold your pencil. Make it nice and light. And we're going to put a bit around that porthole. See, like that, make it more. And we can put little bits coming through. Just make that bit more definite. 
you can put little scraggy bits coming through the bit of the brown kind of almost like as if there's all bits of the wood as different colors of the wood and it makes it more look more woody just sort of like more like that see the woody kind of a gives it a kind of a rough kind of a look but it's not nice and it's not new it's very old this is kind of falling apart and we put a more dark one up at the top as well like that look No, just like that. There we go. And now we're going to put a little bit on our fish. So I had little red stripes on, but again, it's up to you what kind of what you have for your fish. So I had little red stripes going down like that. Look. See? A little bit on his fins and his tail, like that. And like that. And now what i did do was i had the ray of light coming down from this from behind so what we do for that is we get our yellow and our white make sure this is nice and clean this brush make sure your brush is clean so we get our yellow and white so we get our yellow now we get our white so it's mostly white but a little bit of yellow make it look sunny and i'm going to bring it down like this can you see there an array behind them. Now we can bring it down like that as well, underneath them, look. And it doesn't have to go all the way. You just let it disappear off into nothing. Just like that. See that light now? Like that kind of light, make it nice and light. Don't hold your brush heavy. See how high I hold my brush? And doesn't matter what age you are, if you learn how to hold a brush properly, it's really good to learn when you're young how to hold a brush properly. You don't hold it up tight and you hold it nice and light. And there we go. So we have the ray of the sun coming down through the water. Now, what I'd like to do is to get our black pencil um, or our pencil crayon or marker, pencil crayon. I'm using a very dark pencil crayon. And um, I'm going to, just going to get that out of the way for a minute. And we're going to go and start doing going rather now mind these might be a bit wet so you might have to wait a little while so i'm going to go right around my shark here but it doesn't make a difference i so say you might have to wait for yours to dry i won't wait now because i want to show you little bits along the way so it was i make sure you get the eye you put a little dot in the middle of the eye just like that you've got a very starey eyes so they do like that and i want to show you actually you know what i want to show you is the coral bit a couple little bits i want to show you so i'm going to just point my where's my pair I'm just going to pair my pencil a little bit because it's got a little bit blunt there we go now for the coral so what i did is i kind of did a sort of a wiggly kind of a shape like that look sort of wiggly and it makes it look like those it's almost like in shelves like there's little shelves of it of layers of coral and they're all sort of different shapes and and you can kind of go with it if you let it dry properly now i'm not letting mine dry properly if you let it dry properly you'll be able to go with the shape of your of your blob which would be quite nice you know what i mean you don't have to make you can actually bring the kind of shape that you have so that if it's a bit in and out in places just go along with that it'd be nice so i'm just doing it like this see see the way it's all coming together now and we give that like that oh do you know what we forgot or i forgot i forgot to do the poor stingray's eyes you have to see at the moment so we can't he's got no eyes that's not good no eyes so we could just literally just do as many of those as you want with the carol and you can just bring it nice and like little shelves of it like that you can do more you can there are lots of little lines going through wiggly lines and just makes it look like all those nice kind of areas with their own bright colors and that now i'm just going to put a tiny dot of um of white on those little eyes because i forgot the eyes the poor fella he has no eyes so I'll just put a little dot here and a dot here of, of white up at the top see up at the top of his face you can see it there look you see where i put the white and then we're going to come back and we're going to go around him anyway 
make him nice and definite because he's a little bit in the background. He's kind of swimming away to himself, minding his own business. So he is. And we'll go around the eyes like that. We'll put a little dot in them. He's kind of keeping an eye on that. Um, he's not too happy about that shark where he is. So we're going to go around along the bottom like that. And you can make it bumpy. When you go along the bottom, make it nice and bumpy like that. Look. And you can put little bumps going along through the, through the ground as well like that. Look. So you can do a little. And then we go around our fish. And we have little fish with a smiley face in them. There's a couple of little bits I want to show you. Of course, this is straightforward going around the anchor. It's quite straightforward. It's just sort of going around it. As I say, you can wait till this dries all properly before you do it because it would be probably a bit wet now. It's a bit wet even here while I'm doing it, but it makes it a little bit harder. But I want to show you. I want to show you. Only the chain. Um, isn't there for me? frozen here anyway okay it's back again i think is it back um i don't know if you can see it there now there we go uh, it's frozen again no it's not it's back again sorry about that okay i want to show you the chain but two things i want to show you on this first of all just go around the the, the, the um the ship and the ship it's going to go straight down there like that. We can go around the porthole window. And we can shade that in with our black pen. Black. It's going to be quite dark in there. You could even put little eyes looking out there. It'd be quite nice. Make it look like this little fish is peeping out, maybe hiding from the shark. And we can put our lines in across like that. This is our wood. Because it's, all be, it's an old ship that's made of planks of wood. And with all these lines going across, we've got the other side of the octopus inside the octopus like that and then we have our, our chain so all you do for the chain is lots of little egg shapes like that see like that and just bring that right up to the top and they can overlap a little bit all the way up and just gives that impression makes it look like there's a, a chain coming down see the anchor is there not that the poor ship is stuck in the ocean anyway it doesn't really need an anchor now but Okay, so now we're going to put the, go around our, our little seahorse and we go around him like that. And now his front. But watch his back because what I want to do on his back is go around his tail. We're going to go a little eerie thing and then we're going to go a little zigzag. Look. Because they've got a they've got a kind of a, a zigzaggy back, you know, a little bit sticking out. So zigzag, zigzags. Now, okay, and hi Tammy, how are you? And now we have our octopus now our octopus is we just go around him and blacken in his eyes like so but his legs actually what we can do on his legs is and i'll show you this up close i say maybe be easier say when you try to drive for service get his little suckers in so you can go around around and around so you can see it there so you can see them better up there look See, so just like oh, two, three, all oh, little roundy bits, and they're like the suckers that he has on his on his long, tentacly kind of legs. So they can just go right around like that, and it makes that's because he sticks to things. They stick to everything. That's how they grab everything and hold on to things. And there we go, like that. And we can bring his legs like that. So we can do all this. Uh, put the stick. Put the little the little um the little uh, suction things just the bottom like that. Look. And they're just literally round, bum, bum, little roundy bits like that. And I say that's really it. And I say maybe it's probably better to dry because it is quite wet at the moment, even in mine. And we can put it over under the seahorse's eye as well and do him. There's only so many little bits to this actually that you could spend forever going around little bits to see what you have to do in it. So anyway, so there you are, boys and girls. Um, I say you can check back if you want anything to look back on. You can look back at it again. And now I'm going to pick out what we have for next week. Uh, or not next week, what day today? It's Sunday. So Tuesday, we'll get back to our normal routine. So it should be Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays then. And um, okay, and I'll do I'm going to do an adult one on a month tomorrow. So here we go. We'll see what we're going to do tomorrow. Or sorry, next time. I say if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments after. I say I don't really see them all on the screen. See maybe one or two, but that's about it. Okay, here we go. I haven't a clue what this is. Oh, a calf. So there we go. We're going to draw a little calf 
in the field or we'll have to think of something nice for that maybe the bucket a little half of the bucket that'd be nice um so we'll do that on tuesday so join me then for that and thank you so much for coming along and see you soon bye now